Uh, this is my friend Tiny. He's gonna destroy your hiney. <laughs> You see some uh, body parts, including a weird desiccated, like a dried out gel cap of an ochre eye. <gasps> and behind that, you see a humanoid skull. <gasps> you are looking at something. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it leads to. You don't know what it's for, but you know that someone thought it was important enough to write on the inside of their own skull. Um, we're not very good at taking orders, but we would be willing to share equally whatever we find here. And I just pat the skull. <gasps> uh, you wend your way slowly but surely towards the harbor and eventually buildings give way to the incredible vista of stars hanging out in the endless sky past the gravitational pull of the Rock of Brawl there in wild space. With a blast of light <laughs> behind you on the docks, you see <laughs> gyroscoping bands of gold. And you see Morel St. Pri point surrounded by blue clad soldiers <laughs> of some kind of navy you've never seen before. And I'm gonna need everybody here to Yay. roll initiative. Yeah. Wow. Appearing before you on the harbor with Morel St. Pri there, you see a collection of soldiers wearing these deep royal blue imperial garb, like epaulets, brocades, sashes, uh, and you see that they have some wild silvery bayoneted muskets. The bayonets on them look to be made of a translucent starry glass through which motes of light seem to flow as though the glass were in a sort of liquid state. Um, these soldiers look somewhat imposing, unlike Morel St. Pri, who has often made reference to being a member of Her Majesty's Astral Navy, but have, but why would someone who was a part of a Navy have no other Naval members on the crew of his ship? We don't know, but these other people look quite real and uh, uh, are in a squadron of about 10 of them with Morel St. Pri. Um, facing you down on the harbor docks. That is how, going to be Kaiho Kuroshi up to bat first. How many of them are there? There are 10 of them. Uh, 11 right. with morale. Right. I just look at Torvin and I just say, I assume these aren't friends of yours then, right? Uh, I'm going to go and say that no, one of them, that's Captain Morel. He was formerly mm. the captain of this vessel that right. we have here before us. Yes. Um, he was deposed and he has thrown my life twice today, which is ah. two more times than I like to have happen. Understood. I it, Sonny, remember I said you shouldn't bunch up together? <laughs> yes. I activate the blade song, fireball, right at the old man. <laughs> You see the old man, um, uh, you see one of the sort of uh, human beings here with a strange like golden orb in place of one of his eyes, like plants a standard on the harbor and says like, we hereby claim this land in the name of Her Majesty's Astral Navy, like planting it on the Rock of Brawl. And um, 
uh, and the fireball goes off. Um, it is a save of deck 16. I did not roll terribly well. 22 points of damage. Ooh. Kaiho, you draw your blade, do an incredible amount of damage as this fireball rockets across the dock. <clears throat> um, uh, also, go ahead, David, as I'm describing this, give me an arcana check. Boom. Uh, uh, Kaiho, give me an arcana <laughs> check. Right. Uh, fireball goes off. Um, uh, Morel St. Pri, with a finger pointed accusingly at Torvin and says, that man Jack there is the one who took my... <laughs> Morel is down. Morel is just down <laughs> immediately. Um, nobody else goes down. Dirty um, 20. Dirty 20. Um, mm -hmm. As that fireball goes off, quite effective. They look injured, but this is a rough crew. These guys look like competent warriors. Um, if any of you would like to switch sides, we're taking on new hands. Uh, <laughs> um, that's it for me. With that 20 arcana mm -hmm. check, as your spell goes off, mm -hmm. you hear something like someone dragging the sharp edge of a broken piece of glass across the inside of a metal bowl, a ringing, scratching noise as a deep psionic hatred way off in the city turns its attention towards the harbor. At Torvin, the Torvin, Torvin, tell the treant or whatever to lift off. We must away. We need to go right now. <laughs> Really, how it works. Um, the train it's, doesn't it's, really like it's drive. I just a Katha Slim is coming, and that's it for me. Uh, incredible. Um, so, uh, uh <laughs> I know I'm like talking is a free action, but this is all just six seconds. Like, what do you mean the treant doesn't? Do <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean the treant doesn't? Um, riddle that is going to be your turn. So, how many of these uh, other people are there? Oh, there are 10 of 10 of them. And Riddle is still a trash can, <laughs> right? <laughs> so no one suspects anything just yet. And um, I'm gonna look in, well, it, it's like um, Oscar the Grouch in Sesame Street, you know, how it's like that old school can with just his head popping out. It's just like two robot eyes that like quickly look over at Torvin and you hear this trash can speak, Torvin, should I? Attack them, or oh, yeah. should we take off? Um, let's go ahead and kill some of them and make them scared of us. Okay, uh, so you see, like these two mechanical arms pop out of the side of the trash can, and one, the one with the crossbow, uh, loads an arrow into the chamber, and I'm gonna roll to hit one of them, I guess. Awesome, go for it. This should go well. Uh, so that's a twenty-four. 24 definitely hits. Okay. My, oh God, that's a one plus six. So a seven. A one plus uh, seven damage. Um, uh, I will say, okay. Uh, uh, so you deal six damage with your crossbow attack uh, as it fires off any movement or bonus actions from you. Was your sneak attack applicable? Um, so neither of you guys are surprised right now. And I don't believe Riddle was coming from, from I was attacking from hiding. If you want to have tried to do a bonus action hide to get that uh, uh, sneak attack, that's totally fine. You, I, yeah. If you want to roll that ex post facto, go ahead and give yeah. me a stealth roll. I'll do that. Thank you. No worries. So that's gonna be a uh, 24 again. Ooh, you yeah. absolutely are quite, quite, quite hidden. Awesome. Um, uh, uh, so in this case, actually roll, roll again to see if you crit on a nat 20. Um, uh, uh, oh, good call. Um, I do not. Uh, uh, no worries. So go ahead and add your sneak attack to that seven damage. So that's uh, 12, so 19. Um, 19 damage. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, uh, one of these soldiers looks very much on the verge of death. Um, uh, and Riddle, that you've used your bonus action to hide, so that's your action and bonus action. Yep. Any movement from you? Um, but don't forget the whales of the grave. Because you did sneak attack as a phantom rope. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could still do whales from the grave um, on an 
on one of their allies. Cool. Um, so that's four points of damage. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, to one of the allies? Yes. Gotcha. Awesome. Um, uh, very cool. Um, uh, so uh, any movement from you? And to sort of paint this picture for you spatially right now, right now you guys are having a like conventional, we're shooting at you, you're shooting at us. We are standing on a dock in broad daylight. Behind you is the gangplank that's about 20 feet up to the ship itself where uh, uh, just sort of like tactically, there's a choke point at the gangplank and there's the fact that you guys could fire over the gunnel. So you're closer to the gangplank than this group is. Yeah, maybe I'll move closer to that choke point. Cool. Uh, so you're like, it's, you know, classic, like you're firing as you run backwards, like getting onto the ship. Um, you use your movement and you get up to the top of the gangplank and now have uh, three quarters cover uh, as you fire from the gunnel down onto the onto the harbor. Uh, next up, it is going to be Boxy. Hi. I don't like those guys behind us. They're weird. That guy speaks funny, and I don't like him. Uh, I I wanna I wanna um I wanna attack him with my crossbow of light. Amazing! Let's do it. Okay. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Heck yes, 20 hits. And I hit for 10 damage. May I describe? Yes, what does it look like? Okay, um, my my uh, crossbow of light, it has a heart uh, arrow. It's made out of pink, whatever crystals. And I fire it right at one of them. I'm like, hey, you leave my friends alone, you buttholes and then i release uh with the horrifying knowledge that he is about to die having just been called a butthole um the most wounded of the astral navy um gets the arrow straight into the chest boom hits the deck goes down yay and then after that i may i use my spiritual weapon uh Yes, I believe so. You attack with the crossbow, and yes, go ahead and use it. It's a bonus action, sure can. Okay, my spiritual weapon is this bunny that I carry around all the time. His name is Tiny, and I and I uh, I summon him by going, hey, pss, 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 come here. And then it's this giant bunny that comes in, and he he attacks all of them. Incredible! One what, of a, them. what a nightmare! A giant dead rabbit uh, uh, comes and attacks the navy on the on the dock. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, for your spiritual weapon. Roll the attack for your spiritual weapon. Okay, a thirteen plus seven, which is twenty, mm-hmm. to attack. Hell yeah! And then uh, Boxy goes, uh, "This is my friend Tiny. He's gonna destroy your hiney." <laughs> like, oh, she's upset. She's deployed the rabbit. <laughs> What about incredible go ahead and roll 1d8 plus four yes, sir and and tiny hits him with a massive five incredible um you see tiny surges forward uh does tiny move as he attacks or is he like completely rigid like a dead rabbit uh he he pops up he's a bipedal uh rabbit with giant claws and he just starts swinging his claws at everyone uh with bloody with spiky teeth out of his mouth oh some real donnie darko shit okay um uh uh, what a nightmare thanks i hate it um uh (laughs) And, and uh, badly injures another one of the soldiers in front of you. The soldiers having spells and arrows rain down on them. You hear one of them say, pirates, fire! And you see that uh, they launch a volley at you from these muskets as a bunch of astral bullets um, fly out at you. Uh, there are nine of them left. Um, so- May I run to, to hide back? Oh yeah, do you, want to, do you want to uh, run back up the gunnel as well? Yes, I would like to. Uh, so Boxy runs and hides behind Sonny's ginormous hairy leg. <laughs> okay, you got it. Um, so you have shot them. You sick this on them. Um, uh, so uh, you hide behind Sonny. So Sonny will take the attacks that were coming for you. Um, uh, uh, Thank and- you. <laughs> uh, uh, that's going to be two attacks are going to come for Kaiho. Um, two attacks coming for Riddle, who have attacked thus far. Um, 
and then there will be three attacks coming at Sunny because you're getting the two that were for Boxy. Yep. Uh, and then one each for Torvin and Neba that have not acted yet. Um, Sunny, what is your armor class right now? Uh, it is a 16. Wow. Okay. Um, two misses and a critical hit. Okay. Um, I can still deflect. Yes, you can. Great. Um, go ahead and tell me okay. how much. So um, important point, since this might be something uh, that she doesn't know she can do. Boxy. Actually, let me just double check that you can do this already. I might be about to tell you wrong. Sorry, Sorry. I'm new. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> yes, no, it's it's an ability you get at level six. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> you can you can um you will be able to stop crits when somebody gets critted on. You can take the critical away. But oh, unfortunately, cool. we're not yes, strong enough yes. yet. Not yet. Sorry. Not yet. Buddy. Yeah. So, what is my damage first of all coming from you? Uh, the damage coming your way. So two miss. Uh, cause my hair, you know, it stick, sticks out from my body a couple of inches. So like, if you think you're hitting, you've mi actually missed by, you know, just shoo, through my hair. A hundred percent. Um, uh, so there is 16 damage coming your okay. way right now. I could possibly reduce this to zero. We'll see how, <gasps> how well I roll. Amazing. <laughs> Come on. 16. Oh my yeah. God. Um, Not only do I reduce all that damage, but I, I catch it and fling it around my head and shoot it back at him. Oh my goodness, you reduced it to zero. You fling it back. Incredible. Wow. I feel like you get that Grizzly Adams thing where Kyle just turns and looks at her and is like... 23. The slow pan. 23 hit. hits. Corbin's like, uh, I, my I'm in the wrong career. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gripping on Sonny's leg like, you're amazing. Not a top six damage. So straight six back. Six damage in. is gonna get the job done. This you is <laughs> amazing. These are done. Yes. <laughs> Incredible. Describe what do we see in this moment yeah. of Sunny? Like, like how do you redirect this bullet at this yeah. injured, this like burned soldiers? How do you redirect this bullet? So yeah, so it's coming, you know, it's coming towards my face and I think I just like shift to the side a little bit and I let it like enter my hand and let the sort of the 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 velocity of it and I transfer it to the other one and shoot it forward and direct it straight between their eyes then. So they were aiming for me, but I got them back. Um, and as he goes down, I go, your uniforms are gross. <laughs> and you tell him. Incredible! Uh, uh, amazing. Royal blue is out. Royal blue is out. You heard it here first. Yeah. Okay, two attacks coming at Riddle. Riddle, you have three quarters cover, so you are going to uh, get a plus five to your armor class. What is your AC? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, plus five is twenty-three. Ooh, these guys need very high rolls to hit you. Another critical hit. Ay ay ay. Um. Uh, riddle, um, uh, firing over the gunnel as you are, one soldier gets off a lucky shot seeing, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of, you know, next to the person that got your crossbow bolt and takes a shot for 18 points of damage. Oosh. How's Riddle looking with that 18 points of damage? Um, she's smoking a little bit, but, but still okay. St okay. Still, in, still in the fight. Good, good, good. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, that's two against Riddle. Um, we are going to have two coming against Kaiho. Um, Kaiho, what's your armor class? It's currently 20, but it can be 25. A bullet is coming your way. Do you shield? When I watch the chunk, it blows out a Riddle and remember what happened to me about an hour ago, the shield is going to go up. Yeah. <laughs> um, shield goes up, um, with a sweep of your sword, this like, powerful blade singer magic, the space wizard magic. Um, you uh, throw the shield up, your sword eclipses and leaves a trail of itself partially frozen in time as you boom, create a fan of the blade, bang, bullet uh, leaves it, uh, bounces off harmlessly. You avoid uh, a nat 19. I feel, I, I, I feel like I'm still looking at Sunny, like I'm so proud of her and I'm ding, ding. <laughs> but like, like, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and then we have one attack coming for Torvin and one for Neva. What are your guys' armor classes? 17. 13. 
Hey. I'm a warlock. <laughs> Ooh, our poor warlock. Oh, I, was, I, I appreciate that I was like, I should teach you mage armor, but I don't actually know it. So. <laughs> um, uh, so, Neba, you're going to take 10 points of damage from one of these sort of astral musket balls that fires. Nice. Um, the, they're also going to surge 30 feet forward. They are now 10 feet away from you guys. Um, uh, uh, basically looking to like overtake you and like take the ship. Oh, um, shoot. They were that far away? Yes, they were. I should have had disadvantage on those deflect missiles. We are going to say that this that the sick burn about their uniforms Sweet. gave you advantage, <laughs> and so it canceled out into a straight roll. You got it. Uh, <laughs> didn't know that monks had cutting words until Sunny started, you there know, you roasting people. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, Torvin, you are going to act. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, hear me out. <laughs> I really want Morel to still be a little bit alive. <laughs> We can. I can roll a death save for him in front of the board. I'll roll it right now. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm gonna saunter up. I'm like, I'm going right after. I'm going. My first shot is going to be at the person that shot at Riddle. Cool. Because I am about to lose it. <laughs> like you shouldn't have probably shot at her. That was a bad idea. I'm gonna go and lob a shot over at him, and there's a one. <laughs> it's for a twelve. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, that's embarrassing, kind of. <laughs> Riddle, would you like to kill this terrible man who shot at you? I I'm would like to. Commander strike, I'm going to burn in my attack, send it over to Riddle to use her reaction. Incredible. And are you, uh, are you attack? who are you attacking? That's on Riddle. Oh, uh, yeah, Riddle, who, who would you like to attack? Oh, whoever has the least amount of hit points. Hell yeah. You see a bunch of these guys look uh, what we would describe as extra crispy. Um, so uh, uh, go ahead and make your attack roll. All right. Oh, it was almost a 12, but it was a two. Oh, uh, no. Well, I have I have my 1d4, so that's an 11. So hold on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. 12. Sadly, a 12 does not hit, um, uh, but that is okay. Um, so taking this fire, um, Captain Morel St. Pre has one failed death save, but is there sort of wheezing on the ground post fireball? I'm going to crouch next to him and I'm just going to pretend like I meant for this all to happen. Just like random gunfire, crossbow bolts, whatever. I don't need to hit anything. Everything's fine. This is yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I want to go over to him and lean down and just slap him in the face. Wake! Oh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Don't go. Uh, I will say, go ahead and give me give me a uh, as you try to slap him awake. You're trying to stabilize him, so go ahead and give me a DC ten medicine check. Seventeen. Seventeen. You slap him awake. He goes. <sighs> I am dying. I died in the service to Her Majesty's Astral Navy. I. Die a soldier. No, 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 no. I want you to do something for me first. It's very important. And I, especially with, you know, the conflict that we had between us up until this moment. Tell your empire, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of any bounty hunters that come for me or the armies or, you know, the privateers. Actually, you know what? Tell them thank you for casting speak with dead. And I pull the trigger <laughs> into In his heart. Incredible. Um, as you do that, so you've used your attacks this round, but this is a storytelling moment. I'm going to allow you to pull the trigger. Anyone here who figures their character knows spell jamming pretty well, I need an arcana check. Finally, uh, a roll. 21. <laughs> 20, you know a thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Incredible. Dirty 20, dirty 20. Um, so, uh, Torvin, you pull, and he goes, so he's he was stabilized. Now he is no longer stable. The bullet immediately gives him another failed death save. So as he goes back into making death saving throws, um, Neba. Oh, you, can I action surge? <laughs> you absolutely can, Neba. Okay. On, this arc, on this Arcana check, uh, you also felt that psionic shrill of Slim turning his attention. Yeah to the harbor. 
Um, one thing you know about spell jamming helms, the, the thrones used to pilot spell jamming ships is that they are attuned magical items. And that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, uh, so- with, with my dirty 20, do I know that as well? Uh, uh, yeah, you have to say dirty 20 is good too. So yeah, you guys, so, <laughs> Neb, so Neba and Kaiho, you both look at each other. Um, huh. Uh, uh, we're gonna move in the initiative. Sunny, oh, sorry, Torben, you're going to action, action search. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna put an extra two bullets in him and go back up the ship. <laughs> Incredible. That's boom. I just, I, I just appreciate it's like boom. And I'm like, I know Boxy can still boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh. Copy right. that. I okay. said what I, I said what I said. <laughs> I you action surge to put two more bullets into Captain Morel Saint Saint Pre, killing the person attuned to the spell jamming helm of your ship. Copy that. Yep. Uh uh. Oh. So, uh, moving on an initiative that is going to be sunny. Wow. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, Boxy, you're still behind my legs, yes? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, I grab the end of my scarf and I start to spin it around my head like a lasso and then flip it out again, one of the crusty... Uh, crispy looking, <laughs> crusty and crispy navel uh, <laughs> folks here. Um, I'm just going to whip that scarf right at him. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Come on, rolls. Come on, rolls. That's going to be a nine. Um, that's okay, because with a bone, I assume that does not hit. <laughs> that does not, a nine does not hit. Sadly. It does not hit, which is fine. Um, I can take it. I don't have to. Okay. Um, I'm then going to flurry of blows, do two more attacks with um my uh, arms just slashing out and he said you said they're 10 feet from us now correct yes great i can reach him amazing yes go for fantastic it. 16 to hit 16 hits okay one hit second yeah 16 hits uh and as the second flurry comes in 23 incredible both hit go ahead okay, and great. roll damage here we go Six and and ten. So sixteen total damage with those flurry of blows. Um, then at that moment, because I am still ten feet away, so I am not in their opportunity attack range, I assume. Um yeah, oh. you see, as you as you reach yeah. out, this these guys rush up ready with bayonets, thinking right. that they're going to be able to set for a charge, and they've just never seen a girl with a seven foot wings, you know, or like yeah. like you know, nine foot wingspan and yeah. just Whoa, uh, you hit a guy in the jaw so hard that you feel his skull leave connection with the vertebrae at the top of yes. his spine, blam, and just gone. Precisely, I just knock them over like they're chess pieces. I wanna see teeth rolling on the ground <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, but because I am still 10 feet away, I would then, if Box, does Boxy have the skull? Do I remember Boxy still? No, got you it. took it, Kaiho's got it. Uh, I'm just gonna say, Boxy, hold on. Kaiho, if you will <sighs> let me, I'd like to scoop you up and run my full extra monk feet all the way up to the top, carrying you. And if that's allowed on a movement. Kyle, let's go! Fireball will reach from there. Do Great. what you must, darling. Fabulous. <laughs> just... <laughs> so with Boxy holding onto my leg, I'm gonna run it again, just like like a like a rugby player, just shoulder into Kaiho's gut so that he you know falls <laughs> over my back and just sprinting up. I'm gonna leap over Riddle to get up to the top of the ship so that the three of us are up there with some cover, have Kaiho and the skull right up there near the helm. Easy as breezy. I as, as she's picking me up, I am just like, Torvin, put recover the corpse. We need that man. <laughs> 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 Oh, like we don't have twenty minutes to yeah, put. Right. To, uh, do you mean to put on? Oh, that'd be fearsome if we put it on the mast. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, incredible. Um, so, uh, uh, you grab this too easy. All the okay, extra great. movement of a monk. Bugbears have powerful builds. You're carrying capacities already, so you're just 
Ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. You must have a game plan. No problem. Yeah. Um, incredible. Oh, and, 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 and the wind blows my hair. It's like, <laughs> it's very America's Next Top Model. Tell, tell me, handsome, handsome George is just like, if you believe handsome in magic. George. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The handsome George is back there. Weaver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like <laughs> she she's like Venus emerging from the yeah. foam, and then right behind is me with like the bird stare. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fully. You see, handsome George having his dream weaver moment, like <laughs> dropping a bunch of rope, and you see Jimmy Leg smacks him and goes, "Come on, man, we're trying to get out of this, the fucking city. Come on." Um, you see, uh, uh, yeah, the, you get up the game plank, yeah. Neba. That's your turn. Uh, yeah, Neva had that same realization coupled with uh, feeling the turn of uh, Hakat the Slims. Uh, just idiots, you're idiots. You're all so stupid, and I've been shot. Get on the boat <laughs> and uh, uh, object free object interaction. I'm going to use uh, my ponytail as my pseudopod, reach into myself, pull out a broom of flying. And I'm going to uh, cast Spirit Shroud around myself as a bonus action. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I do not cast Spirit Shroud. That's okay. Uh, but I do want to hop on my broom mm -hmm. and sail into like this pile of people. Where is Torvin right now? Uh, in and amongst the pile of people. Or actually, no. Torvin would have moved to be closer to where Morel St. Pri was. So he's actually behind the people pretty considerably. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go grab the two of them then. Uh, and uh, underneath, yeah, as I pass over the pocket of the rest of the soldiers, mm -hmm. I would like to drop a hunger of Hadar. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Go yeah. for it. Sweet. Uh, so that's just gonna happen, and then on their turn, they they're gonna make like deck saves. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Um, amazing. Uh, Nebit, you rush over with your movement to Torvin and the fallen Morel St. Pri. Yeah. Um, uh, Morel St. Pri is all the way dead. He yeah. got burned quite badly and then shot a bunch of times. Um, uh, so I just, you... I want to grab him and sling him over the broom mm -hmm. and then tell Torvin, just like, get on the broom. Hold up. I'm just reloading. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I don't think he's dead. I think he's fine. Look, I kn I, look, bonus action. Can I just slap him a little bit? Not for damage, just for disrespect. A little, a little wet pseudopod. Yeah. Uh, gets you. Um, oh, you're sorry. not a caster, are you? Uh, I cast bullets. I'm a bullet <laughs> wizard. Get on the broom. Okay, I'm a sword okay. wizard. This is a valid path. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I get on the broom. The ancient <laughs> is there a helmet I can put on? Yeah. yeah. The ancient art of bullet, Nancy. Um, uh, Kaiho, that's going to go back and be your turn. As I'm now up on the ship, I just like, I don't know what it takes, but this is about to get even worse. Uh, how many of them are still standing? Uh, there are eight, I'm sorry. There are seven of them still standing, all just, pretty injured. I just look at them and I'm like, I salute you for dying something you believe in. It's something all Gith aspire to and fireball again. <laughs> Go so ahead. DC 16 decks. Go and I'm going to use the chance, the chance cubes this time. All right. That is going to be. Uh, we are the bad guys. Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> we are the baddies. Yeah. 26 points of damage. Oh my God. Um, only three of them are left standing. Question? Um, Yes. Would, you would, to avoid being hit with a fireball, one would assume you would have to see it coming, correct? Correct. Uh, if I laid this down on top of them, then this is a sphere of blackness that light doesn't come so through. They would have disadvantage on their dexterity saving throws? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, that's pretty cool of you to mention. Actually. Well, if I'm going to burn one of my two ding-dang spell slots, it's got to be for something. <laughs> I like this idea of this bright, shiny fireball just <laughs> jump into darkness. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God. Uh, unbelievable. Um, you just hear screams. You just hear screams in the darkness. Um, uh, some amount of them. Uh, 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 you, Kaiho, you thrown enough fireballs into the darkness to know you just heard five bodies drop. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and I knew there were seven? 
You knew there were seven. Yes. It's just that after after I kind of listened for a second, I'm like, there's no shame in running, mate. You don't have to die here. No, they're gonna <laughs> die here. I just from a, the right. other side of it. <laughs> no, they're gonna. <laughs> uh, I just like very like cautiously walk back behind cover as well. And I look at Sonny and, and Boxy and I look at Boxy and I'm like, um, if they bring that man, he's burned a couple holes punched in him. You can, you can, you know, can. I, yeah, I kind of, I guess if I have to. I mean, I think the ship's not going anywhere without him, honestly. If I've But he's being, so ugly and annoying yeah i know but we can always kill him again if we need to but we may all die here if we don't bring him back okay fine Just, okay okay wait all right hang on, hang on i'll compromise we can kill the other two then we'll bring him back how about that yeah deal um, and I do sort of like slip down behind the edge of the boat there that I'm just like waiting my turn to get up and be like, <laughs> magic missile, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just kind of to like sit down against it. Yep. So there is a hunger of Hagar on them. So they are shrouded in darkness, which I believe makes your guys' visibility on them challenging yeah. as well. Um, uh, but we'll go ahead and move down to the initiative order uh, as Kaiho's roiling fire <laughs> once again covers the harbor. Um, you hear shouts, by the way, from all over the harbor of that sound sort of urgent, but also kind of over it in a way that people, like it's shouts, the shouts are not like, oh, horror in the harbor. It's like, oh man. And then people running as as once again the harbor of the rock of brawl has erupted it's, into arcane it's, violence it's like somebody yelling call 911 on the vegas strip you know you're like again, again <laughs> really again now okay all right we're yeah. calling 911 again great e sure exactly right. yeah. uh riddle that's going to be you so they are in turn so you'll have disadvantage to try to hit them with attacks but mm -hmm. whatever you want to do with your turn so uh what is riddle doing yeah so riddle is i believe three quarter cover three right quarter now cover. yeah um, I am gonna try and hit one of them. Go for it. Roll Let's with disadvantage. See how this goes. All right, I believe that's that's gonna be the disadvantage roll. That's a, a two plus nine, so eleven. Copy that. That's that's uh, that's gonna be an eleven. Do I? I have my one D. You still have your one D four. I have my one D four still. Let, let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's a three. I've lost, I've lost track of who all has the lucky feet. Does Riddle have the lucky feet? No. The one d four is built for oh, success. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, part, no, okay. Part, part of an autonome thing. Groovy. Um, so wait, is that a fourteen? That is a fourteen. On a fourteen, you hit. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, roll damage. You won't add sneak attack here. You'll just be rolling normal damage. Sure. Uh, so that's a nine. Um, Riddle, unbelievably, you look at a roiling mass of darkness from which smoke and the smell of burning cloth and flesh is emerging. And you hear a stumbling of like, brothers, stand strong for her majesty, the astral queen. I, you fire into the darkness and hear a I, I think I got one of them. Where'd everyone go? <laughs> um, uh, Riddle, that is your turn. Um, Boxy, you are going to be the last to act. Um, uh, you're going to be the, the, the last to act uh, uh, before they go again. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, okay. Uh, I would like to attack with my crossbow uh, light or my crossbow of warning. Yes, go for it. Uh, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Amazing! You hit. I hit for eleven damage. Um, I'm, 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 I'm quite small, so she kind of puts her feet on the bow and pulls the string back. Mm -hmm. Her whole entire body releases. Boom! Bam! Um, you hear another. Uh, and sudden silence on the harbor as the last of these astral soldiers is left uh, dead on the dock side. Um, and Boxy wants to use her spiritual, but she, everyone's dead. Like, Sorry, Tiny, you gotta get back in there. <laughs> um, all of you are assembled on the deck. Um, you see a warforged woman in a blue naval coat walks out. Um, is it the he, same color blue as the ones we just got? <laughs> it, <is the> <laughs> like, it is the same color blue. Oh, 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 oh no. She's with um, me, That's, everything's fine, that's prime. Everything's okay. Yes, Prime is standing there, ivory, sort of like an ivory, platinum, metal, little bits of gold, blue coat, uh, looks out and says, 
Ah, Captain, I see you have accumulated new crew members. It seems that we are making a swift getaway. Do you need me to chart a course? Uh, absolutely. Let's. What's What's a good place to go this time? This time. Anywhere. Just not here. Let's yeah, just get out of here. Space. Well, we can check the map what when do, we get what does out of here. That, what does yeah. the map say? Let's. Well, we don't have time for that. We can. A little. There are space clowns, or vampires, or murder comets. Anywhere that's not there. Let's go and chart a course for that place. More clowns. Uh, yes. Just not. Not here. Can we just be n never? And I turn and I look at her, and I'm like, "You'll be able yeah. to shake Slim, right?" Uh, yeah. I can buy you a little bit of time, <laughs> and I'm going to no uh, heroics. Yeah, well, you owe me money, probably. Uh, and I'm going to mask many faces, turn into Kaiho, hop on my broom, and sail in the direction of Hakatha Slim. That's the last face you should be wearing. Oh, <laughs> incredible. I love Never. you. <laughs> I know. Sunny's oh. also like, <gasps> <laughs> good luck. Oh, that was very brave. Uh, anyways, well, I'm going to shove this body of this captain into the ship. <laughs> yes, I, I just said like, while, while Boxy is like waving, I'm like, yes, let's make it worth it. I kind of scoop her up. I'm like, we got to right. wake this man up. Oh, I'll, 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 help, help. I'll help Torvin get the body in. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, and no, then, no, no and then... you're not dead yet. No, no, no. You're Dude, not do I do the thing? The no, no, you shot him repeatedly. Yes, no, he's very dead. No, just real quick, just checking yeah. in. Do um, I do the thing? It, it just, just I'm, I'm, I'm verifying. So I'm fairly certain this will only work with him, and I think we should at least get him to get us out of here. Then maybe we can kill him and reacclimate at some point down the line. Oh, okay. Yes, so, okay. yes, please. Uh... Do the uh, thing, and I very uh, much like pulled her towards the corpse of the chair. Okay, uh, I would like to do revivify. I just, I, I just, like right before she's about to, I'm like, okay, remember, you have to concentrate when you kind of zoned out last time. The guy didn't come back all the yeah. way. His, his light came back. That's funny. Okay, I want to revivify. Uh. Wait, I roll for. Do I roll for that? Quickly, nope, we're just tying his hands. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> no, let's concentrate, concentrate. Little, little, Lee, you're not gonna die. Not on me. And then I, I take my hand, I slap him in the face. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to ask two questions here. Okay? <laughs> As Boxy begins to bring Captain Saint Pre back to life, um, some uh, Torben, As you see Boxy begin to uh, unwork the workings of death, you, uh, I'm sure, marvel on like these new crew members that you've brought to the ship. Um, number one, Revivify has a time limit of a minute, so I'm going to just make note of me being very generous. <laughs> cool. So and so I want everyone to, and I want I'm everyone to. I'm pretty sure Tumen dies on death too, so I'm not even sure this works. Oh, does it not? I, like, I would like to point out. Wait, 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 very, wait. That was yeah. not ten rounds of combat. So from no, when he took no, no, two no. in the chest. But the but the minute or two of conversation upon getting to the deck of the ship. Uh, uh, but what I will say <laughs> is this: Thank you for your mercy, oh, God. Dungeon Master. <laughs> Thank you, good now Lord. The other, now the Thank other you, thing, Dungeon Master. Now the other thing I will mention is this: I believe Revivify requires gems of a certain gold piece value <laughs> to work. Ooh. Now, that's totally fine for us to ignore that, but what I am going to ask in place of an expensive gem is, uh, Boxy, ah. I'd like you to make a medicine check if you'd be so kind. And you're <laughs> going to make it with disadvantage. Oh, Christ. Hold on, hold on. Disadvantage. And then I'd like very much am trying to be reassuring and I'm probably not helping at all. I'm like, no, just remember to concentrate, draw the soul back into the body. You got this is going to be fine. You're not at all going to make him a hideous half dead <gasps> abomination. I'm just dangling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, 24. 24 with disadvantage. I think so. I think oh. I did it right. Oh my goodness. I that's, so. inc that's incredible. Um, Okay. She's a doctor. <laughs> so, doctor. with a 24, Revivify works without the gem. Um, however, what you see, putting the burnt blood oozing from several bullet holes body of Captain Morel St. Pri in this beautiful, now ash and blood covered, like velvet cushioned throne, um, Boxy, you 
recite your spell. Captain Saint Pre comes from death and goes, it, you know, blood, everything burnt and charred. Captain Saint Pre, you're not gonna die on me. Hello, <laughs> Captain Morel Saint Pre, reporting for duty. I just look oh, at Torvent. I'm like, no, I, I just, right when I see him pull the gun, I just look at him and I'm like, you're doing the dramatic, like I hit him with message. I can't hear it out loud. I'm like, dramatic, threatening, not actual murder. We need the man in tech to get the ship out of the port. Okay, yeah, fine. Oh, hey, but morale, remember how we're friends and everything and you came back from the dead? Here's a gun. Ah, uh, bonus round for you. Let's take off. I can't feel my brain. <laughs> well, you didn't ever I have one. I assure so... you it's mostly there. It's Very nice. well. Okay, pip, yeah. pip, crew, uh, sailor's life for me. Watch the stars. And he begins to put, you have like a half zombie captain that you <laughs> begin to, he begins to pilot as he goes, Yes, But I do good because that, it's, it's kind of messed up. He uh, was badly burned and shot repeatedly. You did magnificent. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, you see Riddle, no riddle. like run <laughs> slash roll up to Boxy. Bo Boxy, yeah, you're you're Kender. Uh, Kenders are from Kryn. Uh, There's no divine healing magic on Kryn. Are uh, you are you a miracle? I've uh, never seen anyone from here do that. I guess, I mean, no one else did. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit different. Where did you learn? We can talk about that later, but oh, you're my hero. Wait, you like I it? I don't know how you did that, but that was amazing. I, I was always made fun of for it. We, thanks. I would make fun of you for, for bringing somebody back. Oh, we got to get out of here. What's Morel doing? Is he okay? He doesn't um, look so good. And I never, ever, ever, ever give a fig about the no, weather. He's not okay. Never, ever, ever gives a fig about me. Riddle, mm. uh, you are the most lethal trash can I've ever had the <laughs> pleasure of witnessing. That was incredible. Remarkable. Lethal trash can. I I send the owl out. I send Kakoda to make sure that, you know, um, Hakatha Slim is not like imminently on the docks because I'm fresh out of fireballs. So I'm just like, <laughs> we really should go. Like... Go, go. Like, said, I just like pipe poke one of the bullet wounds. I'm like, yeah. do a piloting. Go. <laughs> All right. Morel, it's time to go. Very well. Hey, everyone, tip top in ship shape. Everyone keep your blood in your body and your bones in your skin. Off we go. Um, and you see that uh, the zo partially zombified Morel St. Pri does seem to be able to use the spell jamming helm. Um, uh, Torvin and Riddle, you see Jimmy and George sort of come over by you. Jimmy's like, oh my God, what the hell happened to Captain Morel? <laughs> we happened. We're not heroes. We're legends. So Boxy is a miracle. That's what happened to Morel. Yeah, it's not kind of magic. Riddle, I respect you so much. Nothing about what I'm looking at suggests miracle. <laughs> Nothing about what I'm seeing. I, I'm just a bug, you know. I'm just I just work on a ship. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. And I was <laughs> born at the same terrifying. time as 800 siblings out of the same sack of eggs. And that is the nastiest thing I ever seen in my life. That's so cool. You have a big family. Oh is yeah, Christmas is rough. Oh, that must be so stressful buying presents for all of them. Yeah, well, we do it, you know, we do Secret Santa style. So, it, oh, you know, it's just everyone smart. got one person and it goes that's around smart. like that. Two questions. Is there any sign of Hakat the Slim ship? Was the broken skull, I believe you said it was called? The empty skull. The um, empty skull. Any as, sign of it? As you are flying away, far away in the harbor, you see the imposing outline of the empty skull. So he has not left. Second question. Are there any weapon compliments on board this vessel? Because I would like to pepper it on the way out to slow them down. And we're uh, not going to destroy it, but just like punch a couple holes in it on the way out. Of here. Uh, I will go ahead and say that you absolutely can do that. You see, um, uh, so uh, Kyle, do you do you call out that request? Yes, actually, and and then I'm like, mm, Sonny, I know you prefer, you know, the lefts and the rights quite effective, but on occasion, there's no substitute for the long nines, and I just slap <laughs> one of the cannons. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. So you see, as you slap it, you sort of wait, there's like a second and you see 
J- handsome George looks and says, you want us to do that? Oh, yeah, yes, please. Just, oh, I'm just, sorry. Yeah, there's only right. a few of us on the ship. You know, no, we've got I, a bad I, I, crew I, I, problem. Has anybody um, ever told you you're a very handsome gif? Please put now, a hole in that ship now, over there. Now, we talked earlier. You say you really rebuff my advance. I'm, no, I'm <laughs> really just trying to be polite because you're suddenly of use. Would you just attack before we all die? Thank you. You know, I might grow on you. So let's just leave the door open. And the chances see- are incredibly slim. <laughs> Hey, if they're as slim as you, I like them. Wink. And you see, he goes, <laughs> he thinks that Jimmy and George get to work. Like, <laughs> it's just like. Get that, hip, that hippo I love. Him. Give I that hippo him. love. Yep. <laughs> give, give that hippo love. Um, incredible. Um, you see, boom, 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 boom. The BBG is a big, beautiful gunner. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the guns start firing. Um, uh, uh, Natalie Prime, a little wheel in the side of her head turns to uh, our most favorite destination. Ring! And a little wheel turns with some nice, like, old timey map script on it that says anywhere but here. Um, mm-hmm. And she go- runs off um, to, uh, to stand behind uh, Cap, the mum, sort of like zombified uh, Captain St. Pree. Um, does any, who stays on decks and who rushes below decks? I will stay on the deck because I don't know any better. Well, actually, I do know better. It's not necessarily, the air will hold even when we're going out to space, right? Yep, it will. Yes, I'm, yes, yes. I'm going to watch until the place fades away because I want to make sure I don't see anything happen to Neba. So I will stay out <laughs> and keep looking till the last second. You stay out. Out. Uh, uh, you okay? Torben stays by Morel. You're on the deck. Um, uh, does anyone else go below decks in the ship? Yeah, yeah. Riddle's gonna go below deck because uh, she has carpenter's tools. Um, so if there's anything that she can repair, she will. Amazing. Um, Riddle, you get to work. The ship had very few supplies, but there are some badly needed repairs. So you guys see immediate for those that have never seen like so Sonny and Boxy who have maybe not seen like a big galley and go to work you see like uh Jimmy and George manning the long nines you see Riddle like quartermastering and fixing the ship as you take off Natalie and Torvin are standing and flanking the captain um and you hear from uh, uh Boxy and Sonny uh you hear below decks <laughs> Stroganoff is ready <laughs> Oh, right. What, what was her Just, name? Basic Betty? What was uh, her name? Regular Bonnie. Regular, regular Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Basic so. Betty is Betty. her twin. <laughs> Basic Betty is her twin. Definitely. Her yes, twin definitely. on the other Oh, God. Ship. What's the third one? <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> Pumpkin Spice Patty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boxy gets super excited. Oh, my God, I'm starving. Then she runs underneath or below deck and tries to grab some food. She brings her little bunny with her. <laughs> Welcome. When we eat in the mess, we all eat together. But if you steal a little bit for yourself, I won't say anything. <laughs> uh, and once again, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the decision. Sunny is going to 100% Titanic off the front. Incredible, Aww. immediate, Aww. immediate, like run to the prow and just be like, "Oh my God, Kaiho, this is the best spring break ever." <laughs> well, I, I just kind of stand there next to her, not completely leoing her, but just kind of lean on the rail next to her, and I say, "I think you passed your first mission with flying colors, and I have no idea where your next one leads." As I take the skull out and finally read the map. You and and you you would have to do an insight check to tell, uh, but she blushes just a little bit beneath her fur. Aww. Aww. I'm really good at insight, but I'm polite <laughs> enough to act like I don't notice her blushing. <laughs> uh, incredible. Go ahead and do your map. Um, uh, as you, you, we see this incredible image, the helm with Torvin and Prime and the captain, uh, at, at the bow of the ship, we see Sunny and Kaiho as Kaiho looks at the star map on the inside of the skull below decks, Boxy with this wild witch as, uh, Riddle and, uh, Jimmy and George man the ship's weapons and, uh, put it to work as it sails out amongst the stars, boom, 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 peppering the empty skull as it flies away deeper in the city neba you fly away on your broom are you seeking out hakatha slim i am 
uh, you see walking quickly towards the harbor uh, a group of pirates and you see at the lead uh, with the street having cleared, like it's like old West style. Like people have shuttered the doors. There's no one's in the street. Like the neighborhood is cleared out. Uh, you see Hakatha stands, turns up to look at you. Hi. Kyle Kuroshi. Been a long time running out in those stars, stranger. Looks like time finally caught up with you. Uh, she has the actor feet. So I think after years of knowing Kaiho, she can, she's got his uh, mannerisms and accent dead to rights. And uh, just sort of like flicks her fingers to the side and says, this isn't the day I go to meet my ancestors, but maybe you're not so lucky. Go ahead and give me deception with advantage. Please, Dice, please let me be cool for two seconds. You got to beat right now. Well, no, you tell me what you get. 24. You want to come on down to the ground and we'll settle this the old fashioned way? Or do you want to stay up there on your broomstick? I'm nothing if not sporting. And I want to uh, go down to the ground and uh, my broom of flying can go up to a mile, uh, there, a place it's been before. And I want to send it with like a little bundle attached to it back towards the ship as my last little gift to the group is the rest of that bottle of uh, alcohol with the, with the skeleton in it. Incredible. And they can keep um, the broom. Uh, the broom goes flying off. Um, as it does so, um, you see Hakatha stands there, lowers his hat down. Might be your last words, Kyle. Anything you want to say? I take a long breath and think about what I'm willing to kill for and what I'm willing to die for. And Kaiho is a great friend and everyone I met is so wonderful and joyful and miraculous but I'm not gonna die for them. So I'm gonna drop my, uh, my disguise and put my hands up and say, doesn't have to be the last words. I've got a lot of information. We should talk. Uh, Slim smiles uh, and looks at you and says <laughs> that's a neat disguise almost had me fooled uh you see he starts stepping towards you go ahead and give me a persuasion check oh god <sighs> eight uh he comes along and says Wasn't the disguise, by the way, that tipped me off. Perfect, flawless work. But if you were Kaiho Kuroshi, then this would hurt. And he raises his gun and shoots. Uh, Kaiho, you, in a moment of searing pain, feel your familiar blasted out of the sky. Oh. <gasps> I really, I'm about to say something and I turn and I see Sonny is having this moment of absolute joy and I'm like, I'll get you back. Both of you, I'll get you back. Uh, you see uh, 
Slim turns to you, Neva, and says, Oh, we'll be talking plenty. Uh, looks off to the harbor, sees the decision when sailing away, and says, Do you know what I'm after? I hope it's more than revenge, because they've got something very interesting on them. And you're going to want to not scrape this out of me. I'm useful. And that was a last favor to a friend. But we're square. Uh, you're, you're saying something that, that of interest to them. You see he smiles and says, Never had much of a taste for, uh, well, I'll be polite. A, uh, Decentral nervous system. <laughs> yeah, we got time to talk. First question I have for you is that crew was moving with a uh, treasure chest, old and rotting. Did you manage to lay your eyes on it? You mean the dead mimic? Yeah. Why? So you know it's a dead mimic. I'm... <clears throat> yeah. And maybe don't insult my intelligence like that again. Well... See, I may not have bones, but I've got a spine. <laughs> you see, he listens to that and goes... <laughs> yeah, we can talk. Hey, someone pay the nice lady for her time. She's going to give us a lead on Kaiho Kuroshi. Uh, and we are going to cut from that scene back to the ship. Um, uh, all of you watch as the Decidueon moves away from the Rock of Brawl. Uh, at the last moments as you are departing, um, Kaiho, you hear ringing through psionic space in the aftermath of your familiar being destroyed, which it cannot be permanently, um, but uh, an insult grave enough to create a brief psychic connection. Um, you hear, fast moves, Hoss. I'll be on your tail. Keep an eye out in those stars. Slim be watching. To the end I grapple with thee, from hell's dark heart I stab at thee, for hate's sake I will spit my last breath at thee, and force him out of my head. <laughs> um, you, at that moment, you leave the Rock of Brawl space, the connection is severed, and you take off a brand new crew a ship of your own, new friends, a map to some great unknown treasure, enemies behind you, and a zombie captain. I shoot zombie he's, morale. He's, he's <laughs> mostly <laughs> dead, which is partly alive. I did my best. I, I There's some things that I gotta work on, but you know, I got as close as I could. In terms of a life-altering abomination, you did wonderful, darling. Thank you. He's not he's not going to feel it. Yeah, at least he has all of his fingers. It's better than last time. Much better than last time, yes. <laughs> it smells like someone's cooking something. <laughs> it's you. That's We're cooking you. you. That's actually that's... Well, make sure to save me some of uh, a little bite of myself. I'm famished, I think. Oh, no. it's, Not a problem at all. Let me cut you off a slice. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's weird, kind of. It's just trying to stop Torvin from further mutilating this man. I just look at Sonny and I say, "You know, I thought we'd done you a favor rescuing you from your parents, but if you want us to just swing by and drop you off before this <laughs> happens." Sonny laughs. She does a full-on uh, uh, Julia Roberts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
and just, you know, slaps uh, Kaiho on the back. It's a little bit too much, but it's meant in, in good jest. As the bubble closes behind you, shooting through the bubble real quick, you see a broom with a growler of liquor <laughs> on it. Um, uh, the broom lands, the liquor lands in the middle. Uh, Jimmy Lays goes, oh, shit, look, I, someone sent booze? Who's the friend? Um, it's, I do look at Sonny, and I just I look down at it, and I say, all right, I think you've earned your first drink. <laughs> And that is where we will end Yay. this episode of Legends of the Multiverse. Woo! Yay! Uh, a wonderful time, a wonderful adventure. Uh, uh, it has been a pleasure and an honor playing with you all. Uh, and I cannot wait for all of the continued <laughs> adventures here in the multiverse with this crew of heroes. No facial expression changes, but she inclines her head and says, May the void subsume you. Oh. She spoke. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs>